Hey folks, I'm RJ Byrne. I'm with the University of Georgia Thomas Kent Extension Office and today I'm going to talk to you about white mold and peanuts. If we have the right environmental conditions, hot, humid, there's a good chance that we're going to have white mold flare up in our peanut crop. And I'm going to show you what white mold looks like. If you can see down here, we've got actually a hit of white mold. And you can see the sclerotia right there. And that is it right there. And it will start down typically at the base of the crop and work its way up to where you see these dead ends like this right here sometimes. Or you'll notice what we call hit in the field. Whereas if I come over here, you'll see we have a, a dead spot right there. And right down there at the base, it is a bit of white mold. Let's move the camera and you can see right there. Staying on good fungicide programs, following timely recommendations, is very beneficial in controlling this white mold. And key things, even when it's dry out, don't stop your fungicide programs because that's when we can have white mold actually become underground white mold. And we want to stay on top of our fungicide programs and continue on our sprays. If you have any questions, you can visit our website at the address below for more recommendations on fungicide programs. Take care.